Next question is 2.29. Using SPD notations, describe the orbital with the following quantum number. In the first one, we have n is equal to 1, l is equal to 0. Second one, we have n is equal to 3, l is equal to 1. Third one, we have n is equal to 4, l is equal to 2. Fourth one is n is equal to 4, l is equal to 3. So now, whenever we have l value and you need to describe what the orbital is, I've told you a simple method. You need to know the l values for the respective orbital. So when l is equal to 0, you have s orbital, l is equal to 1 p orbital, l is equal to 2 d orbital and l is equal to 3 f orbital. So keeping this, you are going to now identify the orbitals in this case. So first one here is n is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0. n is equal to 1 which is 1. l is equal to 0, you have s orbital. So this is going to be for 1 s orbital. In the second one, l is equal to 3, n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 1. So principal quantum number is 3. And when L is equal to 1, I have P orbital. So this is going to be 3P. In the third one, L is e N is equal to 4 and L is equal to 2. So when N is equal to 4, I have principal quantum number 4. L is equal to 2, meaning D orbital. So this is going to be for 4D. The last one for the D uh, question, N is equal to 4 and L is equal to 3. So when n is equal to 4, my principal quantum number is 4, l is equal to 3, it's going to be 4f orbital. So this way, if you want to answer such kind of questions, get this at one side of your paper so you know that your answer is right. Accordingly, follow this because l value can go sometimes confusing if you're trying to memorize. So have this particular thing beside your um, answer paper so that you can easily get your answers right.